All right, good day everybody. So we're hanging out here inside the shop on a weekend day, so that way we don't get in anybody's way. But we're doing a complete floor remodel in my country coach. So in the past, I'd already done the entry step well, got the LED lights there on the right, and then the left, and then this uh, synthetic Corian. All this kind of needs to be cleaned up. It's a little track dirty. And then this carpet on this side here. And then the step well cover is already done. And then we've got that stock blue carpet. And we've got these seats here. Those are going bye bye. This here couch is going away also. And then this one here is going to get probably flipped around to the other side. But we'll figure that out after we get the new flooring in. So all the blue carpet's gone, and then all this tile is going away or two. I've already come along and done the bottoms, all my cabinets. It's kind of a mess in there. But all those have been done. These cabinet floors have been done. And then the bedroom carpet's been done. About time for a detailing on it. I've had a few trips to the track. So we'll get that toilet pulled out of here. Get this dinette table taken off of here and all these couches and whatnot out of here and get this remodel going. We'll kind of give you a day by day, do it like a daily vlog because I think we're going to keep hustling it. Tomorrow evening we'll bust in here after the day day's over and then we'll bust in here again when the next day and so on and so forth. So that's the before tour i kind of wanted to make sure we all got that looking all stock with everything and now it's time to get the floor out of this bad boy so i've got my good friend ryan here he's out there with the grinder those cab chairs for some particular reason guys wanted to use a carriage bolt on those so you ain't got much on the top and that last one number eight it's not wanting to cooperate so we're going to get that thing die grind the head of that bolt off of there and get these cab chairs out of here and keep the progress going all right so hey we're down here dumping off the old seats and then these are the new seats so that's going to be the driver's seat and then that'll be the passenger seat there it's a little wider it's the buddy seat model so we'll maybe get enough room for her and the dog to sit in there. And then they were previous Grand Tour seats that actually were never installed over at the neighbors when Winnebago gave an attempt, well, let's call it an attempt, to build motorhomes here in Junction City. If you don't have engineers here to correct your prints, it's going to be more expensive and it's not going to go easy. And I'm sure there's some previous Winnebago employees that work production that could tell you a lot more. But I don't have too many details now, or do I feel like sharing them. So those were the seats. Go back down here to the motorhome. Now you probably can't see me because it's so much darker. And uh, we'll get you a tour of what we've gotten done today. Okay, so here we are about eight hours, two, actually three labors later. And the first thing I'm gonna show off is I spent a little bit of time, but I actually made some ABS plastic step protectors. So they've got the bend right here, the bend here, and then a bend here. And uh, they just tape on the sides. And that way, and then I've made it again here for the entry step well. So that way on your way in and out of the door, you don't gotta trip on some damn carpet and you don't gotta screw things up. So this is that solid surface that was already here on the sides. And then this is going to be that solid surface. That'll be the transition where it meets up with that new floor. It'll have a little light here on the bottom. There's a bit of a radius on it. The reason why, that used to actually be a dinette table out of a Monaco. And I cut it down and I recycled the surface to make those sides. And then that already had that radius on there. So that'll be the radius there. Come in, cut all the carpet out. Just left this small chunk behind here because that won't be uh, in the way of anything. Still has a little insulating value plus the uh, 
amp rack is uh, mounted here. This is the four channel amp that runs the fronts and the rears. And then mounted on the back side of this is the subwoofer amp. So there's a four channel, 100 watts a channel there. And then I think a 500 mono block or something like that I've got in here. So that's that there. We've got all this pulled out of the cockpit area. Came in, took all the screws out of this. Got that uh, pair of pliers in there just for a spacer right now to float this up off the floor. Looks like it has had a little bit of water come in the sides, but it's not bad at all. So we'll be able to just cruise right along. It's not rotted by any means. And then I'm actually gonna do the floor at a 45 like that, I think. Comment below what you think. I didn't wanna run it straight up and down the coach, just cause it gives me that feel like it's an old recycled school bus so we're going to follow off of that line of the cabinet and then we'll run that all the way down up there to the front and then we'll go back here to the back got the shower doing a multi-purpose keeping that ceramic toilet in there actually i guess that's a china toilet not ceramic but anyway it's got the toilet inside the shower and then we've got the toilet out of here so one full day two and a half basically three people and we've got all the couches pulled out those chairs pulled out and then the tile out now i'm going to come along drying the floor till it's pretty level so that way when i go and lay this down it actually has a nice level surface to be sitting on so that's where we're at now uh since we're going to do the grinding i'll have to mask it up a little more i did mask off after i put uh, the chairs and the other things in around the uh, pocket door going into the bedroom so we're going to drive this bad boy around put it back outside so we can not be clogging up the show we're going to use the old wheelchair there loving that chrome park brake release no ace of spades. But anyway, sorry, sorry about that. All right, thanks everybody for watching. Hope this is kind of an educational video. You can see what I'm getting into and what I'm tearing up on my own coach. And uh, we'll see how it looks at the end. I hope it comes out good. Uh, still kind of trying to decide on what I want to do on these window boxes. Thinking about just making some more wood, get rid of the carpet. But uh, hey, comment below what you think I should do on my window boxes. All right, everybody. Thanks for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and please hit that up. It's not costing you nothing to subscribe and then you're not going to miss some of this content. So uh, hit those likes. Thanks a lot, everybody. But till next time, I'm going to do this daily. So probably tomorrow evening, I'll give you another video and then we'll see uh, how much further I can get tomorrow. All right. Thanks again. Bye-bye now.